put that down. Don't look at that yet. I see you peeking, you little peeker. Okay, okay. Can we just, for just a quick second, quick second, give a round of applause for how great it is to be here, like literally, actually, here? Especially like this past few days when we're like, will we? And we're like, we are? And we're here, and we're smart, and we're safe, and we love each other. And how much did we miss this and each other? How much? How much? I mean, I mean, for some of us, we haven't gone to any kind of convention at all since the time began. You know what I'm saying. Two damn years. We're going to keep things vague and positive this weekend. Yeah. Is this your first convention since the time began? Yeah. yeah? Clap if it's your first time back. Your first convention back. Also, real quick, hold on, real quick. I'm completely off script. I'm sorry, Christina, but I just love and miss everybody here so much that who's here at their very first convention ever? Can you clap and stand up? Show me where you are. Look at their first con, babies. First con, babies! You are so precious! Look at them, they've got no idea how much vomit is gonna happen. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You're gonna have such a great time. Now, since this is your first convention, you can already tell that Anime Los Angeles has a very special, very unique vibe to it. And we're gonna cover all of that stuff as we go through our opening ceremonies. But let me introduce myself. I'm not Jay-Z. But let me introduce myself. I am your Toastmaster. I am your master of ceremonies for many different events. My name is Ezra, and you'll give me a big round of applause. <laughs> Woo! Yes, I am also a voiceover actor and a voiceover director. I direct a show called Miraculous Ladybug, if you've heard of that show. I voice over in that as well. I've done a lot of different anime titles in the past, from Naruto to Bleach to Outlaw Star to Jojo. If any yeah. fan of any of those go, make some go. noise. Those are just the ones that I remember, but like many of the guests, we're going to be having signing tables, so I encourage you to go and visit all of us. But now, let me go back to the script because we have a program here that we've worked really hard for your entertainment and enjoyment, and you need to be entertained and enjoy, am I right? Yeah! Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Anime Los Angeles 17! After two years, we are so happy to be back. I know it's been a tough two years, but we have been working really hard to put together another amazing convention just for you. We've made a lot of changes this year, we've had to. It's about being flexible and it's about staying positive and all of those things are gonna be happening this weekend. So what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that you stick around till the end of opening ceremonies so we can tell you all about it because we do have some very exciting things in store for you. But before we get started, I know we're all inside of our masks, so please just do the best that you can to take a deep breath for this and calm yourself for just a moment because we do want to take a moment of silence. We want to take a moment of silence for those friends, family members, loved ones, and also those that have been affiliated with this convention in particular who we have lost over the past two years. So if you will please join me for the next 20 seconds in a moment of silence. Thank you. Thank you so much. Give a round of applause. Give a round of applause. We're gonna shake the mood back into where we are, but it's important to acknowledge those that we have lost. So now without further ado, I would like to bring out our guests of honor. We have a tremendous lineup. In fact, many of them 
arranged their schedule so that they were here for opening ceremonies. Some of our guests will be arriving on Friday, some of them will be arriving later on in the weekend, but I really want you to acknowledge and also show some support and enthusiasm for the guests of honor that are here at the start of the convention for you that are also here at the very beginning. So ladies and gentlemen, You'll be seeing their panels, they're always very entertaining. I want to welcome out a power couple who is so deep in the history of anime and certainly in Los Angeles culture. Please welcome out Mary and Les Claypool. Make your way down the runway, Mary! Get it! Microphone, sir? That one doesn't work. It's not on. Flip it on. Maybe giving me one that works would be a great idea. <laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Use mine and then I'll clean it here. Les, give it up for Les. Thank you. So, so there's, there's something I've noticed from all of you. They're back! <laughs> One thing, one thing we've noticed during all this madness is now that we're doing cons again, you guys need to give yourselves a round of applause because there is no community like the anime community to be conscientious and safe and do everything possible to get back to doing cons so that you can watch an old man with arthritis walk down a stupid <laughs> walk like, <laughs> like he really needs to hit the can and turn around and walk back. Um, we're just glad to be here. We're glad you guys are all back here. And what would opening ceremonies be without me pimping one of our panels? Um, <laughs> we're actually doing a live action panel for the movies we worked on at six o'clock, right after this thing. Um, but if you like juicy, behind the scenes stories on things like Ghostbusters, Fright Night, Big Trouble in Little China, <gasps> Giver Dark Hero, that's, that's us. And we'll, we'll be starting that at six. Um, and I'm sure Mary would like to say something, get me off the mic. It's such an honor to be here. 28 years ago, I began my career as an English dubbing script writer for anime. And uh, I wasn't familiar with a lot of the anime projects that were coming out when I began working. I was raised on Astro Boy and Kim of the White Lion and Speed Racer. But now, 28 years later, I'm here admiring admirers of Ghost in the Shell, Code Geass, uh, big, you know, just so many great Akira Cowboy Bebop projects I've been very honored to work on and I'm honored to be here to see people who weren't even probably born when I started writing. So we're so happy to be here, we're so happy you're here and we hope you have a wonderful time at ALA. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Les and Mary Claypool, give it up for them. It's all about sanitizing this weekend, am I right? It's all about sanitizing. Nobody touch this. We have staff for that for later. Don't you worry. Um, but yes, some of your favorite anime, like Cowboy Bebop, done at their studio, you guys, recorded there. Anybody love Cowboy Bebop? Well, what about that Netflix live action one, what do we think? It didn't get renewed, so that's got to tell you something. I know, we're trying, are you really? You're putting it out there? There's a campaign? Yes, 100,000 signatures! 100,000 signatures! We can get that this weekend! We're gonna have 100,000 ribbons given out this weekend. That's right. Um, but yes, very exciting. For those of you that may have attended 
any of the panels hosted by Les and Mary in the past, they are always at more and more information. So don't feel like if you've seen them before, it's the same thing. It isn't. They always change it up. So right, like they said, six o'clock right after this, go check them out. So anybody here into cosplay at all? Look at me, I'm sassy. Anybody? Like I know the answer. Any cosplayers in the house? That's right. Well, I want to welcome out another special guest, Uta Hime Cosplay, coming to the stage. Oh, yeah. Yes. Look at this. Work it. Oh. Where are you going? I'm coming next to you. Okay, great. Okay, great. You're my, one of my favorite cosplayers. That means a lot. You are like legit. Do you social media follow? Because so good. Thank you. That means a lot. And this convention means a lot to me because this is where I met a lot of my close friends and where I kind of began cosplaying more and getting more into cosplay. Are you sick of cosplaying alone in your room just for TikTok? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because it's really, it's yeah. an art form that's meant to be shared in and, person, don't you think? And also, too, when you see someone else with the same cosplay, you're like, yeah! It's the oh, connection! Spider Man meeting! Gosh, I feel like I should double down on the table right now. <laughs> exactly. It's a gambling reference. Yeah, get it? No? It's a, no? Okay, it's a, it's a, where will we be able to find you this weekend? Well, you can find me tomorrow. Um, I will be doing an autograph signing from 2 to 3 p.m. in the um, exhibit hall A. But most importantly, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., we have the Cosplay Industry Roundtable. I would love for you guys to fill the space. It's going to be an amazing group of cosplayers. They're going to be talking about their own cosplay journeys and going from novice to expert. It's going to be amazing. And this Saturday, I would love for you guys to come to my new panel I'm super excited about. It's My Drag Academia. So everything concerning drag, its evolution, and its connection to the cosplay community. So. Does that have anything to do with my hero at all? <laughs> well, I mean, I would say they're heroes of the community. Hey! Yes. I love it! Please, I would love to see you guys there. Amazing! Utahimi cosplay, ladies and gentlemen! People of all forms, I'm trying to stop saying ladies and gentlemen. Can you give me some support on that with your claps? Every time I catch myself saying it, I'm like, I hate myself. But, you know, been, I have been a host ever since I was legit 13 years old in my elementary school. And growing up, what did we see? We saw a host using just those two terms, and I hate it, and I'm trying my darndest to break it. So, if it slips out, please forgive me. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have another stable to Anime Los Angeles, who you see here just about every year. I usually recognize him as Tony Stark when he is not drunk, but sometimes he's a little bit drunk. Ladies and gentlemen, please bring out Andrew Landy. Come on, Andrew. You're now gonna back off from the dome after the wicked reveal? <laughs> you can't play me like that. No, no, we're definitely not gonna play okay. the reveal, but I'm just glad to be out here with all of you. It's great to see all of your faces. I know yeah. we've got masks in the way, but still, I see your eyes, and I see everybody here, and uh, I'm sorry, it's, it, it, this is just a moment that I've been dreaming about for the past couple of years, to see everybody back at this convention, back home, and just enjoying the hype, so yeah. it's, it's a pleasure to be here. Andrew, you said it back home. For many of us, this convention is our home convention. This was the convention we've grown up with. I've been attending this convention at least 10 years. I started at the airport Marriott or whatever that hotel was. Anybody oh. ever go there? Oh. Yeah, I mean, that was a brand new smell over in that hotel. <laughs> oh yeah, well, we flew and we evolved and 
even though we're growing, yeah. it's always home. So yeah. again, just it does feel it's emotional. He is right. Andrew is absolutely correct. It is emotional to be here, to actually like we we have just visualized this. When will it happen? And it's now. So it feels really good. It is an honor to be around all of you. And again, I'm just excited to have this weekend going. So we're gonna have so much fun. Get out of here, Andrew. I got more people to introduce. Go clean that microphone. Now Andrew was just hosting anime pop star for the past two and a half hours, and that went off really well. So he'll also be at many different panels, and you'll see him throughout the convention as well. So be nice, say hi, be like, hey, I'm from opening ceremonies, I recognize the haircut. And he'll be like, yeah, that was me, that was me, that's what made fun of me, yeah, I hated that moment. Yeah, so what it's about, we want to be, get familiar with you, introduce ourselves to you, come up and say hi to us. In fact, I want someone else to come up here and say hi to you as well. A very skilled, incredible musician has been attending Anime Los Angeles for many years along with me. Please welcome to the stage Mr. Jason Charles Miller. Here he comes. Yes! Uh, use the runway. You gotta use the runway. Hey, everybody. I'm gonna follow my direction and go to my spot here. It's great to be back. It's great to be back uh, at, a, at a convention again, right? Um, it's been two years since my last convention. Probably most of you. Uh, it actually could have been in MLA. Might have been my last convention before, you know, we all sort of hit for a while. But anyway, I'm, I'm really glad to be back. Um, I've been up to a lot of things since we've been, since I've seen you last, uh, including singing on uh, four different Final Fantasy XIV songs. Um, so, uh, also uh, being the voice of Optimus Prime in uh, World of Warships Transformers. And um, the uh, Spartan number three in Halo. So uh, super excited about that. But uh, come on down tomorrow morning at 11. We're doing the voiceover, uh, the, the voice actor roundtable. I'll be there for that. And then on Saturday, I'm actually hosting a Q&A about Dungeons and Dragons. I've been playing Dungeons and Dragons for 30 years, uh, from um, you know, from hosting shows for them and Geek and Sundry, and appearing on Critical Role and writing their theme songs. Uh, no questions off the table. So uh, happy to be here and hang out with all of you. And uh, come by and say hi. Give it up for Jason Charles Miller. Great job. See you tomorrow at that panel. He and I will be at that voiceover panel in the morning. You know, I had an interesting discussion over breakfast today how D&D has really taken off during the, the times. Has anybody in this room, anybody have a campaign, anybody D&Ding at all? You are? Right on, right on. It's a great way to connect and use your creativity, imagination, and stay social. How important, right? We gotta stay social with each other. It is the glue that keeps our positivity moving forward. All right, and speaking of moving forward, ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special guest coming all the way out here, looking incredible. Please give a big round of applause for our special guest, Kaza. Look at this beautiful, this beautiful dark angel. Hi, Kaza. Amazing. <laughs> um, it's been so many years after we performed in California, and this is our first time in um, Anime Los Angeles. So we were so excited to be here, and thank you all for um, you know welcoming us. And the reason I'm saying us is because you know a lot of people take me as a solo artist. But I'm actually with my band. So yeah, we are rock band and touring in USA. Uh, we are originally from Japan, but have been in USA for a while. We just love this country. So, and yeah, I've been having so much fun already with the ribbon. Yeah. Um, I only have a few more, but if you want, just let me know and yeah, I'll give it to you. And yeah, <laughs> maybe later, but <laughs> yeah. Um, so I have a show, rock concert, tomorrow night here in this room from 9 p.m. And also I have a Japanese voice lesson with 
you know, all of you. If you're interested, please come see me on Saturday. Um, the original time was 3, 5, but um, it's now changed to 4.30, but please check my schedule. Oh, oh, the battery might be dying. <laughs> okay, so yeah, but most importantly, we have rock concert tomorrow night, 9 p.m. So I hope you'll come out and wrap up with us. Yes? Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kaza. Give it up for Kaza. Oh, beautiful. Uh, I like rock and roll. I want to go to that concert. You want to come with me? Be my date? We'll go together? Yeah. You and I will go? We'll go? We'll go? I don't like to go places alone in a company. So hopefully you'll, you'll keep me company. Um, so. Moving along with our guests of honor, this next couple that's coming to the stage means so much to me. They're very much like family. I have known them for, I've known them for pretty much 20 years, for all of my voiceover acting life. And I love to always see them together. They have meant so much to me and they've given me so many incredible opportunities and I am forever grateful for them. I am going to leave the credits to them because their credits are incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, people of all sizes and identities, please put your hands together for Richard Epcar and Ellen Stern. Anyhow, that's a 
stuff. We just have, I, I was Agatha in Pokemon Generation. Woo! And I also directed the series, and you Do you know what Pokemon is? I'm not going it's to a say Jamaican what Jamaican proctologist. <laughs> Pokemon, okay. <laughs> That'll catch up to the audience Tough later room, on. Ladies and gentlemen. Tough room. Later on, they'll be like, oh, that's what Richard meant. Canceled. We've got, we've, we've, we've been doing this for a long time. Long time. Long time. It seems like we've been on the stage as long as we've been doing this business. I I've aged five years. I think it's time. I think it's, right I think it's time to leave. Anyway, thank you guys so much. We love Alameda LA. We yes. didn't do, this is probably what our fifth Our bub 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 year. Yeah, we've been, we've been here many times and we love these guys. And thank you guys so much for having us. Thank we you. We love you guys. Come see us. Love thank you. Too. Come see us. Come on, panels. Oh, I got to do a plug for my outtake panel tomorrow night at midnight. If you guys are still awake and you're drunk, come to my panel. It's uh, it's outtakes of Lupin and Bobo 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 and Louie. I was in both. She was in both of those. Anyway, thank you, guys. Thank you, we love you all. Push it up for our own turn. Yes. No playoff music? Can we have playoff music? There we go. Come on, come on. That's for the, that's for the Richard and Alan. That's what they want. Thank you so much. That was awesome. All right, let's keep the, we have just a few more special guests to announce. And then it's time to win some prizes, am I right? Yeah. It's time to, win, time to win some prizes. All right, well, this next special guest that's coming out here is someone who I actually met most frequently at conventions. And since we have a shared love of voice acting and we've shared several credits together on many different titles, it's such an honor for me to introduce him to you all. Ladies and gentlemen, people of all shapes and sizes and identities, Please welcome Mr. Aiden Rudd. Come on, Aiden. Oh, oh. Oh, look at that. Watch out now. Please see, there it is. That's lovely. Hello, hello, hello. How's it going, everybody? So my name is Aiden Rudd. Titles that you might know me for, most specifically, would be something like uh, if you've ever played the Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, you would know me as Beelzebub. Or if you know Pokemon, you would know me as two different team leaders. I have voiced Archie in Pokemon Masters. Oh! I have also voiced Lysander in the recently released Pokemon Evolution. Woo! Aiden, you go! Now, what I'm here to talk to you about, because I love voice acting, Ezra loves voice acting, all the people backstage love voice acting, who loves voice acting? Yeah. Who here would be interested in trying voice acting? Oh, wait a minute. Where are you going with this? So, tonight, a bleh, words, I talk for a living. <laughs> so, tonight, we have the tryouts for the Voice Wars voice acting competition in main programming from 8 to 9.30 p.m. If you want to try out, feel free to bring a monologue. If you don't have a monologue, I've got a few prepared for you that you can try out. Just go nuts. And tomorrow, from 12.45 to 1.15 p.m., 2.15 p.m., 1.15 will be a 30-minute panel. So, tomorrow, we have the Voice Wars Finals. Voice and Wars. Voice Wars. Voice Wars. <laughs> I think that's German. Um, <laughs> So, tomorrow we have the Voice Wars Finals, and they have always been a ton of fun to watch. You can come see our contestants do things like, well, like last year I had them read passages from My Immortal, for example. <laughs> so, we go all sorts of nuts in there. Feel free to come join us. We're going to have a ton of fun. And if you want to try out, 8 to 9.30 at main programming tonight, you can try out for our judges, including Chris Turgliaferra. And Retina, the voice of Leone from Fire Emblem Three Houses, will be there tonight. So feel free to join us, and I can't wait to see y'all there. Are you ready for AMA? Yeah. We are ready! Aiden Rudd, give it up for Aiden. Sounds like he's going to be having some pretty fun panels there. Um, and as you can see, you know, everybody is so very entertaining. They just love the stage and the spotlight, but they really 
love hanging out with you. So we're gonna bring out another special guest. This is our last special guest that is able to be in attendance for opening ceremonies. And I am so very excited to introduce to you, Kaho Shibuya! Kaho Shibuya! Coming to the stage, looking amazing. Welcome, Kaho Shibuya! actually my second time uh, guesting Anime Los Angeles and thank you so much for bringing me back. Uh, oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I came like last week and I did self quarantine I got a booster and wanted to be ready for this convention and I'll be ready. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I did cosplay, uh, aerobic, I do a lot of things. I appear on somebody else's YouTube channel. Why I don't even have my YouTube channel. But, uh, so I think a lot of people recognize from some YouTube channels. And thank you so much for that. Uh, uh, I have my own table this time. So yeah, please come check out. I got sanitizers. If you just want to, just want to use sanitizer, that's fine too. And uh, I do raffles. I do autographs and what else? Oh, uh, just a lot of things. But uh, tomorrow, actually, 10 p.m., there is a kickoff party, and I'm doing Anison DJ. And, oh, thank you! I never done DJing in front of people, uh, or just live streaming. So if you can be there, please be there. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you! Most importantly, I hope you have a wonderful time here and stay safe and well, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Kaho. Yeah. I love you. I love you. Kaho, you wrote a book? Yes, in Japanese, and we, we are translating it. Oh, yes. What is your book about? Oh, it's about this secret, not secret, but industry in Japan. Oh, <laughs> interesting. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. We're going to definitely you. attend the party. Give it up for Kao Shibuya. <laughs> and we will see you at the party. We'll watch yes. you DJ. It'll be so much fun. I have to practice. Yeah, well, I'm sure I'm, you're it's pretty It's going to be all anime songs, so you're going to love it. Yes, we'll be there. No matter what happens, Hi. it will be a big, big success, and we're so honored that you are here. Thank you. Yeah. I Did you do you. live streaming for DJ? Uh, uh, for, during the pandemic? Yes, twice. Oh. I started live streaming on Twitch since pandemic. Uh -huh. and, oh, thank you. And it's been wonderful that I can see some of my people in chat, in my chat, yeah. just showed up at the table and I, could, I just, I keep saying thank you, but I really thank you for uh, coming and thank you so much. Well, we want to thank you for entertaining uh, us during a time when we really needed it. And you DJing and streaming for those, your followers and your chat, it means a great deal. Thank you so much. A big round of applause one more time. Thank you. And of course, we want to thank all of our guests of honor. And so please make sure to check your program book and to find out where they will be. Right. All right, Kyle, go ahead and take a step off and they'll be happy to escort you. Give it one more time, big round of applause. We are so lucky that we have so many incredible distinguished guests of honor here. They're all for you to absolutely devour. Just take us all, get all the questions out. We want to give you all the experience that we have and share with you. So we hope you make the most of it. And the best way to do that is to download the guidebook app. Has anyone done that yet? Clap your hands if you've done it. It is incredibly sharp looking. So I want, I really do want to encourage you in the guidebook itself, the hard copy here, this guidebook, we have a QR code inside of it and you can just 
take a picture of the QR code, and then the whole book will be downloaded onto the app on your phone. And the, the most important thing is, as you heard already, some people were talking about times have changed for their panel. Everything will be up to date on the app, because once it's printed there, any changes, it's, you're just gonna be confused. So please take advantage of that guidebook, because changes are made in real time. Now, I wanna bring your attention to the entertainment hall. It's the first time this year for you to enjoy all the fun interactive amenities that are under one roof in one room. And what we have in there is the ribbon station. Clap your hands if you love ribbons. Now, since I'm your Toastmaster, I have a ribbon that says, you've been toasted. Yeah, you've been toasted. And if you want that, well, you gotta find me. But I'll be hanging out here right after this because I'm gonna stick around for the concert that's in the room right after opening ceremony. So if you don't have any ribbons yet and you wanna start your collection or you wanna to add to it, I have one to give to you. But the ribbon station is a place where you can actually purchase some ribbons that you can start trading back and forth and also check out some other really cool ribbons. So check that out. Also the maid cafe is in the entertainment hall. Tabletop and e-gaming is in the entertainment hall. The community stage that is brought to us by Anifest with all of the fun programming. So you can find the entertainment lounge in room 104C on the first floor of the convention center. And if you have the Anime Los Angeles map, it's number nine. You can just look, it's all in the hallways. But wait, there's more. There's more. Also, we talked about cosplays earlier, right? Cosplays, we know sometimes our cosplay doesn't really hold up so well. We gotta do a little freshening, right? So we want to make sure that you check out our convention staples like the Manga Lounge and the Tabletop Gaming and e-gaming rooms. And if you do need help with your cosplay repair, you can just join the Costume Repair Station waitlist. And the way that you want to do that, which is different this year, you have to scan the QR code that you'll find in your program guide as well. That way you get on the list, you show up when it's time, you fix your cosplay, you keep going taking pictures with everybody. It's gonna be amazing. And now, we do have something that's different this year than any other year, and I'm gonna put a little emphasis on it because this is where you in this room can really make a difference and enhance, enhance your convention experience. So there's many ways for you to win prizes here at ALA. But did you know that you can collect prize points just by volunteering. Did, did you? No. Yeah, you're supposed to do something like, oh? oh. Yeah, that's right. So if you are interested, and I am asking you to maybe be a little bit interested in helping out throughout the weekend, feel free to stop by our attendee service desk in the main lobby of the convention center, and you will be able to earn your prize points then you can visit the prize emporium and you can trade in your points and get all kinds of cool prizes. So it's a great way to diversify your experience here and hopefully we can get some extra volunteers. You can see what it's like from the other point of view of attending the con by being a volunteer and helping out. So that would be super um, helpful. Now speaking of prizes, I actually have some prizes to give away right now. Clap your hands if you wanna play. I love enthusiasm. Even in the dark corners, I feel you're out there. Okay, all right, I have one question. First question, first prize. This enamel pin from Anime Los Angeles 2022. It's super, super cute. This is your first prize. Here, zoom in on it. Nice focus. My neck is so oh. veiny, it's disgusting! Oh. Ew! Look at how veiny my neck is, it's so weird! Ah. Okay. Gross! Okay, um, so, here is the trivia question for this prize. But you have to raise your hand, don't just blurt it out. Don't blurt it out. Okay. What time? Wait till I'm done answering the question! What time does the dealer's hall open tomorrow morning? Okay, I saw some hands shoot out. I see some hands shoot out. Uh, oh, 
This individual right there waving right now, stand up. Shout out your answer. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. is the correct answer. Give a round of applause. Here is a pin. Doink. Congratulations. Wait, we got another question. Don't worry, there's only three. Okay, so here we have another question. Uh, I got it, perfect. Perfect, okay. This one is for limited edition. Anime Los Angeles 17, zoom in on it, t-shirt. Look at how I need to do more push-ups. I just have no definition. Just a lot of pillowy fluff under here. That's all that it is. It's been a long pandemic. So, <laughs> this limited edition t-shirt, that is what the next prize is. And here is your question. Who, that's right, it's a person. Who is the chair of Anime Los Angeles? Oh, I know, yeah, that's fine. you gotta really think about it. Or Google, figure it out. Uh-oh, yes. Who is the chair of Anime Los Angeles? You can, you can, you can, you got the answer right because no one can say his last name correctly. Alec Oric, that's right. Big round of applause. This is the voucher that will allow you to pick up the shirt of your choosing size. And if you like, I'll be happy to autograph that for you for $25. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> totally, totally kidding, totally for free. And now, ladies, gentlemen, cosplayers, people of all shapes and sizes, see how I'm, and identity. I left that one out this time. I said it twice. My sweater is my sweater is in a clump in the corner, just like my um, ego. <laughs> but my neck is so veiny! Oh. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. The big prize. The big prize, everyone. The big prize, friendship. The big prize is the pin and the t-shirt combination. Yes, in what page in the guidebook will you find me on? My name is Ezra. What page in the guidebook am I on? Where am I? Who am I? Where am I? Who am I? Okay, yes, I see. Stand up. You're tired. Oh, no, don't. 34. 34 is correct. Come over here and claim your prize. I'll be happy to sign that for you. Congratulations. A winner, a winner. A winner in every seat. No, but for real, go downstairs in the dealer hall, check out the ALA merch table. You'll see cool shirts like this, cool enamel pins like I have been handing out. And here I have just a few more announcements and then we are officially opening up this convention. I can't like my, I can't do the move. I can't do the move. I can't, I can't do the move. Oh yeah, thank you. It works! Big round of applause on that. Genius Einstein right there. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Next thing, why don't you solve Omicron for Brian? Oh. Hey, hey, hey. No, hey. that would why grow and like a true mind at work. Okay. All right, all right. So now you have your since we've looked at the guidebook, right? We pulled it out to try and find out what page is Ezra actually on, 34. Um, now that you have your guidebooks in your hands, which you don't because you put them back under your seats and in your bags, but I get it. Did you know that your badge, this one here, can get you great discounts all throughout Long Beach? Now you'll see a QR code on page 13. Scan it and it will tell you all the restaurants and shops that will give you a great discount. Now this doesn't usually happen but a lot of the businesses in the area are working with NLA to make our experience just a little bit more affordable. So take advantage of all the great discounts, right? And the way that you'll find out which are the participating establishments in Long Beach that work with your badge, so you've got to bring your badge with you, scan that QR code. And then on the other side of the page, this is a personal favorite, 
you'll see that there's like a 50% discount for you to go to the Aquarium of the Pacific. One of, other than the Monterey Aquarium, Aquarium of the Pacific is really so beautiful. And if you need just a little break away from the convention and see some beautiful marine life, or go and, and feed some larrakeets some milk in a tiny little cup, it's the most precious thing. And it's very affordable. So go ahead and support the Aquarium of the Pacific and go and see some of the real cool stuff that's here in Long Beach. Now, in this room is our main event. And tomorrow at 4 p.m. we're going to have the fashion show. Anybody attending that? Fashion? Okay, two or three people. I get it. Five or six people. That's great. It will grow, I have a feeling. Tomorrow night is our big kickoff party, as you heard, sponsored by Lumica and featuring Kaho Shibuya backstage. Give her a round of applause. She will be DJing for the first time in person. She will be reading your messages on the chat. She'll be listening to your screams and praises and watching your sweaty body and your veiny necks. So I won't feel so alone. And then tonight, right after this, is a concert. You're going to really want to see this. I already watched the rehearsal. It was really great. So, temperamental concert. And after that, I want you to check out the fan favorite AMV contest at 8.30 in here, hosted by me! Hosted by me! Hosted by me, and I'll have my sweater. I'll bring my sweater back. Okay, now, I'm going to obviously mention the most obvious thing. What do you think that is? That's right, 18 plus is going to start at... I'm not going to talk about that over the ceremonies! What do you think? Make sure you bring your ID at the door. No, listen! The one thing is that's obvious is wear your underwear. No, your mask! Right, wait, what is it? COVID, well, we all made our way through the door, so all I'm, I'm talking to everybody, but you're right. Make sure you always have your COVID vaccination proof ready or that you take the tests that are provided for us out front. And even if you feel a little under the weather, why don't you go and get the COVID test there because it is available for us. So better to know what's going on so we're not putting any of our other friends in danger and you're taking care of yourself. That's super important. But the last thing is we do want to remind everybody for your safety and the safety of your fellow attendees and our staff to please wear your mask over your nose and mouth at all times while inside the convention center, except for when you're actively eating and drinking, of course. So we're going to do that. We're already doing that. We're going to have the best time this weekend. We need this time. We have to celebrate for two years of not being able to do this. So if you will all join me in opening up this convention, on the count of three, we're going to say Anime Los Angeles 17 is officially open. Ready? Drum roll with your feeties. Drum roll with your feeties. Build it. We're gonna do it on the count of three. It'll be Anime Los Angeles 17 is officially open. In one, 